Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Dwarf Fortress, <clears throat> Seizure Fortresses? Uh, yeah, that name, I'm not sure if it will ever get old to me. So, uh, I guess first things first, let's uh, go ahead and let's get, uh, let's get our Dwarven Therapist connected here. Come on, Dwarf Therapist, where you at? I guess I'm gonna have to add uh, a new screen capture here. Just one second, folks. Make it big. Very big. That's good enough. It's got a little overhang down at the bottom, but who cares? All right, so as part of this Let's Play, uh, I'm gonna try, at least at first, uh, to kind of manage the jobs myself. So that means I'm gonna be turning off auto labor. Um, that has both positives and negatives. It just means I will have to be a little, just, just a little bit more involved with, uh... Boosh. Auto labor is now disabled. Uh, I'll have to be a little bit more involved with the day-to-day -day goings on of the dwarves. I'll have to be a little bit more picky and choosy about things, so... Especially at first. Uh, so we need to rename some dwarves, right? Okay, so our... Um, this is our expedition leader, our trader. So the nickname for him is going to be Nerd Spaldrick. Okay. Commit that change. Uh, we've got our Armorsmith Miner here. Um, where's our Armorsmith? Armorsmith here. And this is going to be... Mock and Tear. And we want to go ahead and commit that. And then our last one is our Woodcutter Mason. And this is going to be Big White Seth. <laughs> He's big. He's white. And he's apparently a female. So, <laughs> sorry about that, Seth. Uh, yeah. Well, apparently, uh, apparently, uh, yeah, I'm female too, so don't feel so bad. Okay, uh, so. We need to think about, like, our jobs. Like, what, what everybody's going to be working on right now. You can see Auto Labor already kind of grabbed the mechanic and said, Alright, the mechanic's going to do all of these other jobs here. Um... That nobody else can do. Sure, that's fine. Because we're not going to be doing a lot of mechanics at first. We're not going to be doing, uh, hopefully, any of the doctoring type stuff at first as well. So that is a-okay. Um, it turned off the hauling for two of the miners. Left the hauling on Mac. And turned off all the hauling on the woodcutter. Which I think I'm okay with that as well. Um... Yeah, I think that's probably it's probably fine. We may have to like what we may end up having to do is kind of like when we see something's not getting done, we may have to like jump in and be like, okay, we're gonna have to fix this. So, but for now, I think it's probably fine uh, the way it is. Should be just fine. All right, switching back scene. So let's take a look at our map and see what we've got. Of course, uh, you can already see we have a lot of sand. Lots and lots of sand here. Red sand walls. Yippee. What else do we have? Okay, seeing some uh, diorite and some rock salt. So that's uh, okay. There's our water source. It's good. Do see uh, a few trees. There are definitely not many. Two. <laughs> Two trees. Um, some bushes. Maybe there's some... Yeah, no. That's the same tree. There's a tree right there. There's another tree on the next layer up. Hopefully there are some more trees, guys. 
Wow, not many at all. Not many trees at all. This uh, it's definitely going to be interesting. Getting our uh, our tree fix. Because there are just not many. We're going to have to... Uh, we'll probably end up having to trade for wood. Pretty hardcore. Pretty hardcore. Alright. So it's pretty... Uh, pretty desolate in terms of uh, what's going on. We're definitely not going to be gathering any food on the surface. So now the next real question is where do we want to strike the earth at? Where do we want to go in at? Um, probably go in like right over here. Just right over here. Now we're going to try to be a little bit more um, Interesting. That's new. That additional options. What is that? Huh. Uh, we're going to try to be a little bit more strategic with some of the things that we do. First of all, let's go to stocks here. Not stocks. I'm sorry. Kitchen. Kitchen. Plump helmet spawn. Goods. Not going to be cooked. We don't want to cook any of this. Don't cook it. Please. You can cook everything else. Just don't cook that. I really hope that that sound is not too loud. Maybe I need to turn my sound down because it sounds awful loud. And sound sense isn't hasn't really kicked in yet. Okay, so we're just gonna go uh, straight into the side of this uh, mountain, like right there. Actually, we're going to go. Do we want to have the trade depot outside? We want to have it inside. I typically, when I'm going into the side of a mountain, I like to have it inside. So let's just go ahead and we'll go with three because that's all the depot really needs is uh, three. So it'll be kind of like a ramp up and in. And then something I typically like to do, I like to keep it kind of narrow and then I like to I like to widen it out so we'll go like we'll do like a seven by seven and that'll leave a nice size space in the middle uh, for said caravan and then what we're going to do is we're going to have we'll do some different stuff here we're going to go and make it back three wide back to here not four wide, three wide. And then here is where we're actually going to go down. We're going to do our up down stair right here. Pew! Okay. Now we're also going to do our farming on this lair. We'll probably end up setting up our barracks outside. I typically like to set my barracks up outside so that my. Uh, fighting units don't get uh, basically they don't get uh, cavern adaptation cave adaptation where they get so used to being underground that whenever they do come up uh, to fight or do anything they end up like getting sick and vomiting everywhere it's it's really bad but we may end up um, doing some defensive type stuff here uh, just in case we have like a something we really need to like wall up so we'll we'll end up what we'll do is we'll gate this off we will have our barracks outside, but if we need to, what we'll do is we're going to have like some tunnels right here and we'll probably carve fortifications into them to where this will basically be like a murder hall is what we'll do. But we don't need to dig all that out right now uh, because that would just waste some time. We do want to go ahead and designate some some of our spare, sparse trees to be chopped down. You know, I really didn't think it was going to be this bad. I'm a li I'm I'm definitely concerned at this point with how few trees we have. It means we're going to have to really watch uh, watch the usage very very closely on trees because we need the trees for beds. It's a same tree, different tree. kind of weird. I guess it's the same tree, but it just looks weird. 
There's another tree right there. Good, 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 good. Good, excellent. We'll start out with those four trees. Let's go ahead and get our noble set up. So we have our expedition leader already, who is also our broker. Bookkeeper is the mechanic. Chief Medical Dwarf is also the mechanic. Manager uh, is going to be the expedition leader. Or is, is that what I want to do? Hmm. Actually, I normally go manager bookkeeper. So let's replace that. think where was our bookkeeper bookkeeper was the mechanic yeah okay there we go manager bookkeeper also medical dwarf he's a he's a dwarf of many hats okay what else do we need to do well we're gonna want we're going to desperately be wanting um for wood so we're gonna want to uh we're gonna want to deconstruct this pretty quick. This, uh, oh, we were on the wrong level, that's why. Wagon slated for removal, so that'll get broken down. All right, let's strike the earth. Get with it, boys. Oh, let's take a look at our animals first. What do we got here? Ooh. Well, that's kind of nice. We've got some yaks already over here. It would be a very good idea for us to uh, try to get those tamed or taken care of. Uh, let's go ahead and set up a pasture. We'll make it a pretty big one. Like, maybe like that. And in pasture and we're just gonna put everything there for now too bad we didn't get a mating pair on the uh, animals that actually pulled everything it's too bad horse and a water buffalo that's fine and then eventually we will uh, kind of change up where everything's gonna be we also need a uh, refuse stockpile to, for a place to throw things away. Let's put it over here. We'll just go five by five for now. Yes, yes. Very good. And we'll go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and set up. We'll go ahead and put our garbage dump on top of that. for now. Very good. So everybody is getting busy. Or at least should be. If they're not, they will be before too long. So our miners are going at it. Looks like... What in the world? It looked like a fish. Is that a fish? Why would a fish be just flopping around like that? It is. It's a lungfish. It's just hanging out. Well, at least that made quite a bit of wood. He's already done with that, though. He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm done. I'm good. I'm a fast worker. Look at this. Let's see what else is around. So a bunch of yaks. Cool. The year is still young. Indeed. Indeed. So I said I think in my last uh, playthrough that we weren't going to do mugs. We're going to do toys. And I stand by that. We're not going to do mugs this time. I've done mugs pretty often. So, I'm kind of tired of it. 
kind of tired of doing mugs. Mugs are, I mean, tried and true way, but toys should be just as good. Alright, so we didn't see any sand there, which is interesting. Um, hmm. So we go down. I can't remember if this was uh, deep soil. May very well have been. All right, let's go down. Actually, let's set up another uh, kind of like a rampway here. Put some kind of like of a some kind of like checkpoint here, maybe like a bridge. Never be too safe. And we'll go down to here. That sounds good. Sounds good to me. It's always something to me that's kind of magical about starting a new fortress. I know I'm a pretty big nerd, but uh, I don't know the possibilities of what you know what you might find or what might end up happening happening are pretty awesome. Finding a lot of gems. Okay, so I think this is going to be our workshop lair. So how do we want to do this? How do we want? I do like the five by five shops. I, I like having the space around them for like uh, feeder stockpiles that, that you can basically uh, set to give to that workshop. Thinking what we're gonna do is let's Put, let's put a little two wide hallway here going out this direction and let's put a two wide hallway going out this direction just to see what we find and uh, I'm assuming we're gonna eventually hit some sand over this direction the reason for that is I'm going to have a big stockpile uh, up closer to the surface for uh, wood it's gonna be like a like kind of like a uh, primary stockpile. Okay, so nothing over there. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have like you know we're probably not really gonna need it since we don't have we don't have a whole lot of wood. But uh, I'm gonna set up maybe like a room like that. And what that'll do is that's gonna catch the wood that gets harvested. Uh, immediately that way the lumberjack can get back out there and get to work unfortunately we just are not gonna have much wood to work with but still it's a good idea I'm surprised we didn't run into any sand over there okay so let's go ahead and get this set up for wood okay and then we'll go back down here to the workshop layer Oh, I need to get rid of that. Yeah. So let's go ahead and go this way. And this way. And this way. Looks familiar, doesn't it? I think we're gonna do some some kind of some different things here though. Hmm. What do I wanna do? Mm-hmm.
something that I've done before is to have like one whole side be just different stockpiles and then have all my workshops on the other side hmm, but I'm just not sure if I like that idea just not sure I also like the idea of having like a ring of workshops maybe what we could do I'm gonna try something here what if we did something like what was that let me count this off one two three four five I think it's one one row here might need to make this a little bigger maybe M maybe so what I'm thinking here is have like a centralized stockpile and have the workshops around the outside in which case, I think it needs to be bigger. I think it definitely needs to be bigger. So why don't we go like this. Enlarge it like five on each side. Like that. And then, let's just see how it looks. Let's just see how, just see how it looks. to think you know if we do it this way if we do it this way what we could do is we could completely eliminate like those parts these long hallways let's take it let's see how that looks I don't really like the blobbiness there. I feel like it needs to be offset somehow. But how do I want to do it? Something like that. This isn't even. It's not even. This side has six, this side has five. Let's go ahead and give this side an extra one. How would this look? Maybe, maybe. And then like first workshop would go here and be kind of like centered up. Next workshop would go here. Oops, a little bit, a little bit short. Is it okay for it to overhang? I think so. I think it's okay. We could get what could we get maybe like five on each side here and then four on those sides so what would that be 18 18 workshops in here so this is centered right five by five can we get another five by five in here oh man like a glove like a glove guys 
So three. So 16 workshops is what this would accommodate. I'm wondering if we should have two workshop layers. Or leave the layer under this open. Potentially for workshops. The 16 is not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough. Not in the grand scheme. And then we just basically... I guess we could just do like this. And then like this. Just kind of crisscrossing along, right? I don't really like the entrance being on that corner like that, but I really, I guess it doesn't really matter. It just, it's like all about it, aesthetics. I've actually never, uh, I've never done a pattern like this before. So this is kind of new for me. But my thinking here is I don't want, I want everything to be pretty centralized so that they don't have to move very far to get to where they need to go. I actually kind of like the way it looks, believe it or not. And I thought about adding, like, this is pretty clearly a hallway. You're not going to put anything in here for stockpiling. I thought about putting a little hall, little hallway action. Excuse me, a little hallway action here, but I just don't want to, uh, I don't want to choke up the stockpiles too much. Huh. I guess, uh, we can just go ahead and let them dig it out. So we need to get some workshops built. So that we can get those, uh, idle guys busy working on something. Maybe I should have brought five picks. Just had the extra one for somebody who isn't doing anything. It's something I do from time to time. So I'm thinking we're going to leave the lair under this open for potentially another workshop lair. And then we'll, we'll end up uh, putting the living quarters on the third lair down from this. Let's go ahead and hotkey this as uh, F2. So zoom, and we'll name it uh, Workshop One. So because our guys don't have a whole lot of mining skill, it's taking a little bit longer, but that's okay. It's very nice to have the game running back at 100 FPS. <laughs> Towards the end of that last last let's play, man, whew, it's like 50 or 60. It was just almost. It was just pretty much unbearable for me. It's like taking uh, forever to get anything done. So they're probably filling up that uh, that wood stockpile pretty good. Yeah, not too bad. There's a lot of lungfish out here. Interesting. these corpses here. Two-legged rhino lizard remains, so apparently the cat or the dogs are doing that. So what we'll do is we'll have basically like one side will be like wood products and then it will fade into stone, stone slash uh, like metal products over here. And then we'll put like the more strict, like, say if this was the wood side, we'll put, like, the carpenter's workshop, like, here. Because, um, it's not going to need anything from the stone side whatsoever. But, like, a craft store's workshop will go somewhere kind of in the middle, because it might need both. Makes sense to me. So 
So what is everybody working on right now? Dig, store item, and stockpile, no job. And that's because the woodcutter does not have hauling enabled at the moment. But that's okay. That's completely fine. I guess we can go ahead and... I think our woodcutter was also our... Mason. So we could go ahead and get our Mason's workshop set up so that person can have something to do. Put it over here, so I guess this will be the stone sign. We'll just use the diorite because it's right there. And then we're going to want around this to put a stone stockpile. Since it is the Mason's workshop after all. And we're not going to make the same mistake we made last time. We don't want metal ores. Um, no clay. No bituminous coal. No, 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 no. I'll just use no bituminous coal, no lignite, please. Everything else is fine. Other stone. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so that'll work just fine. And then we will tell it, basically, we'll tell it, uh, you know, hey, just give to this workshop. And I'm planning on having a bigger stone stockpile somewhere else that's like a feeder stockpile. Kind of the same thing that I'm doing with the wood. Okay, Mason's workshop has been built. Excellent. So let's go ahead on our Mason's workshop and well we definitely need to get um definitely need to get son of a gun we want to get a throne and a table out for sure and then let's go ahead and queue up probably doors Give us, give us some doors for our bedrooms. Thank you, sir. Get to work. Get to work. You lazy bum. What do we got here? Stone floor, stone floor. Okay. So maybe we won't have to deal with the big moss problem like we had last time. It's only a problem if you let it be a problem. So where do we want to put the big stone stockpile? Probably the big stone stockpile needs to go on a level closer to our exploratory mining. So it might not be something that we actually get going for a little while. Okay, so we're going to need going to need a stockpile up here though for, uh, for furniture storage we'll just put it say like right here in front make it about like that and then in settings we're gonna go in here and uh, we're gonna we want this just to be uh, at this point, a stockpile for stuff that's coming out of the Mason's workshop. So, what we're just going to do is we're just going to go through here and uh, disable the things that we won't be producing in the Mason's workshop. Actually, we're going to be making a lot of stuff there. A lot of stuff there. Especially since we don't have a whole lot of wood. We have to be very, very, very cautious uh, with our wood. With our wood use.
what we can do here is uh, I think we, yeah we set this up to where it's only gonna be coming out of that shop yeah I was gonna say eventually I'm gonna set it to where it only takes from that from that workshop but uh, I want to get that anvil inside I don't want to leave that anvil outside for too long. So he has already wrapped out some things. Good work. Good job, BWS. And so let's go ahead and get, get our carpenter's workshop set up. We're going to just put it over here in this corner. In the corner. And we're going to want wood around it. And then uh, we're going to do some stuff here with this. So we're going to say uh, give to there. And take from here. So he's going to take from the main wood stockpile to fill that one, which should work out just fine as long as uh, we have wood in that main stockpile. And then we'll just set up uh, a stockpile out here for the goods from this. Good stuff. Good stuff. I'm not like slamming down a bunch of workshops uh, because I just I don't want to overload the dwarfs with just a bunch of stuff. I prefer to be a little bit. We're gonna be a little bit methodical about how we do things here. That's kind of like uh, I guess my calling card <laughs> is uh, being methodical with things. Okay, so already seeing some uh, wood getting moved. Very good. I'd like to see somebody down here uh, finishing this construction. Thank you. Thank you. Our mason is going to be completely done with all of his stuff before uh, before we before we even can use it he's gonna be completely done all right so now they're getting that together once that's made we'll uh, start throwing together some beds okay so we're gonna throw throw seven beds down seven beds and then we want to make another furniture storage stockpile over here like this and we're gonna go in here and we'll just disable that this is pretty much uh, going to be for beds but we're also going to allow uh, you know we may just end up making our uh, buckets out of uh, stone if we can. I've never done it before, but I'm thinking you can. We'll see. Boxes and bags, no. Uh, barrels, uh, sure. Let's take a look. Let's see. Bucket. Yeah, bucket. Uh, 
rock bucket rock table so you can make buckets out of metal but it looks like it's either basically your options are metal or wood interesting and bins I think are only wood no no they can be metal can you do can you rock bins I doubt it rock cabinet but you can't do rock bins hmm be interesting it's gonna be interesting guys to kind of see how we go so normally we like to keep bins on hand for item storage so it's definitely going to be important for us to keep close tabs on our stockpiles okay so what do we want to do now well we want to get our craft dwarf up pert quick so let's get one set up and we'll just put it here in the middle it's fine and then what we'll do is we will we're just gonna put a stone stockpile around it and we're not going to be wanting metal definitely not bituminous coal or lignite if we so got if we basically got lucky and uh, found any and then we will say uh, give to here thing is we're gonna have to make sure that this stockpile stays full because if you have it set up to give to a certain workshop uh, that workshop if it's empty it won't uh, won't take from anywhere else and then we're going to set up a finished goods stockpile uh, over here say like right here and that is going to be for we're gonna be making some toys now likely what we're going to do what I'm gonna to try to do is I'm gonna to try to have a bigger stockpile for uh, it's gonna be like a like an aggregate for sale type stockpile that's going to be closer to our trade depot that's going to have um, you know like toys gems things like that the reason that we're going to do it this way is to use our haulers more efficiently so that our uh, like our craft store won't have to be moving back and forth just quite so often we're going to try our best to be efficient Try our best so after they get this layer completely mined out then we will go down a layer and uh, we will get we'll go down two layers and we'll get our living quarters situation sorted out probably could have sorted it out a little bit faster if we hadn't have designated like the whole workshop layer uh, to be dug out but oh well it's fine it's fine it's fine what are these Cotton grass. Hmm. Okay. Fair enough. They're almost finished. Just a few more squares to spare. Okay. Let's go down two layers. Pause the game. And designate. Up, down. Up, down. Right here. Let's see. Well, how do we want to do our living quarters? Well, I don't know. I don't know how I want to do our living quarters. Typically, I really just like to go with the... Uh, I like the fingerling houses. Just the uh, shorties. But I also like... Like this well uh, 
I could make a macro for this. Record. I could record a macro for it, but eh. I don't think I care. I don't care. Let's go ahead and let's just get rid of that. Only thing here, I don't really like. I don't really like having like bedrooms open straight up into stairwells. Just I don't know, just the logistics of it kind of annoy me. Like I think about it from the dwarf's perspective. Would I want a bedroom like that? No. Not not at all. Oh well. I guess they'll get over it. It's not what I wanted to do. Oh man. Oh man. You can always you can tell it's late. I'm recording this late because, well, number one, I'm pretty subdued at the moment. And uh, number two, brain not functioning quite so highly. So in terms of efficiency, this is probably not the most efficient. I know there are definitely way more efficient uh, housing designs than this, but just trying to do something different here. I'm more concerned with the efficiency with the workshops and the stockpiles, to be quite honest at this point. So how many will this give us on each layer? Four. So nine, eighteen on each layer. Hmm. Interesting. Which we could always we could always hallway out here and then hallway around and put a ring around too. Which wouldn't really be that bad. Hmm. I don't know. We are going to need a kitchen and a meeting hall area. is like where do I, how do I want the kitchen and the, and the still set up how do I want the stockpile set up let's go okay I'm thinking Still, that leads into kind of like a pantry. is like wraparound storage that's that's just not gonna be a whole lot of uh, storage it's really not I mean it it might look pleasant but it's we've got to think about it in terms of uh, logistics also it makes sense to put our Fisher uh, Fisher's workshop down here too like 
that. Hmm. And there. Hmm, hmm, hmm. And then we could, if this was the still, we could have a stockpile like back here next to it. We could have a stockpile for um, brewable plants, plants for brewing, yeah. And then we could have some stockpiles over here for some different things, supplies for cooking. I think we're going to need to enlarge I think we're going to need to enlarge this uh, main stockpile area at some point maybe not right now we've got a lot of digging designated so maybe it's best to just let this go at this point and then let them, let them do it, let them do their work, you know, and then when we need it, we can enlarge it out. Okay, so is this done yet? Doesn't, I don't think so. Still moving around some stuff, that's all right. Our mason has finished. We have one idler, who is it? Who is, who is idle? The woodcutter. All right, well, here's what's gonna happen. Let's go ahead and Let's pause the game. Let's go to scene two, bring up Dwarf Therapist and Woodcutter, Woodcutter, Woodcutter. So right now he's got masonry and wood cutting. We'll go ahead and we'll turn hauling labors on for him, just for now. But we will definitely do this knowing uh, that later probably going to have to turn it off because we want him to focus on being a mason right and that should keep him busy yeah immediately he got back to work gonna be doing some hauling who do we have let's take a look at something real quick let's go back to therapist who do we have for stone crafting looks like our mechanic is set up to be our stone crafter which I really don't mind that to be honest we don't want him to be masoning no I don't want him to be a mason no thanks the reason I'm fine with that is because being a mechanic doesn't really take a whole lot of uh, time we're definitely going to want to disable his hauling tasks so he's gonna be very very busy making toys for the girls and boys so he was the only one though that had construction and uh, road building which isn't really necessary right now selected so we're gonna need to get somebody else uh, perhaps more than one person. We'll uh, turn construction on for our carpenter. Um, and yeah, we'll leave it on for the mechanic too, because it doesn't take very long. Trader? Yeah, it's fine for him too. And we'll leave it off on the mason. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Good stuff. Alright, so what's going on? Oh, I need to set my hotkey, don't I? Let's hotkey this one. This one's actually not going to be F3, it's going to be F4. F3 is going to be Workshop 2. This is going to be Live 1. Very good. Alright, so we'll go ahead and put a, uh, put a cut in there. And in our next video, we're going to get those bedrooms finished. We're going to get a few more workshops built. And we're going to start uh, getting some toys out so we can have some things to trade when the caravans start coming in. So thank you guys for joining me. And I'm excited to see what, uh, what seizure fortresses uh, 
holds for us in the future. So until next time, game on.